hotties, Elizabeth here, ready for another Tech Tuesday. We're gonna look today at an app that I've had for a while and I've played a little bit on it and it's really a lot of fun and I don't know why I don't play with it more. It's called iOrnament, let's click here to see what it does. So you can create really cool repetitive designs. I'll show you big. Right here you can see you can do a lot of little details and having a lot of fun. I mean it is very intricate but it creates repeats as well, so it's not just a mandala design. Um, how do I get out of here? Done. There it is. I had it. it was hiding from me right there. Um, it also, that's all it's going to show me in here. I've had this app for a while, so I'm wanting to look at some of the reviews, but I'm not seeing those. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you've got drawing. It also goes through the math as to how um, these repeats work, that all of this is based on mathematics. Um, that's the whole geometry, everything. When I do designs with paper and pen, that's I'm using math to do that. Um, may not be sitting writing an equation for each one of them, but it is a math thing as well as a gallery so that you can look at different cultures, use of geometric design right there. So let's go ahead and go have some fun with drawing. Now, I've had time to play with this. We're going to start off in the main screen, and I've got it turned on right here in settings so that I can see the way the symmetry lines and the regions that it's going to be working. It helps you to see what you're doing a little bit better. When I was working with this at first, it was kind of blind. It was hard to do really uh, intricate designs and to do them with any sort of... Uh, so I'm going to be using the dotted thing. I've got it set right now. I can take it off of this. Let's actually do the regular one right there. There we go. We're in a normal brush now. We'll go down. So let's pick a pretty color. I feel like this blue today. Now you can adjust that color. Uh, you can make it lighter, darker, as well as you've got the hue chooser right here so that you have got so much control um, with this uh, that you can create any color you want. They just give you these basics right here. So let's see what we create. So we're gonna come right out. And that's what we'll start with. Now what's cool is I can change, and see that's the basic shape I drew right there, and go through these different repeats. It gets more exciting when we've got a few more lines, but you can see the basic idea here is as I go through, it sets these on. So there we go. So see how that works? So let's, we'll go here and we'll say, okay, we started with this little guy. What happens if I go in with some orange now? There's creating some curly Q design right there. So kind of weird lumpy dumpy shape there. As I change it, it gets with the repeats as they lay on top of each other, it gets a lot more exciting. I'll go ahead and skip to this one. You can see now as I zoom out, you can see what that looks like. Let's see what it would look like. And there's it in a mandala type design. Now you can change. And we can have 13 repeats. Looking a lot more like a spire graph design now. 38, that's a lot. <laughs> As it layers them all on. Two. You see, you just pick your different numbers. It was really cool, so you can do like sevens. I don't know if you've ever tried to do something with seven repeats. That's also very hard to find when you divide 360 by seven. Doesn't go perfectly. So this one uh, allows you to do that. We'll do 11. Another kind of odd number to try to get divided in there and get it to sit right. So you can have so much fun with this. I'm going to go ahead and clear this one out. We'll go with a normal. Real quick, another quick look at this. We'll start with yellow this time. Do some little orange designs. Let's 
See those, one of the things I wish I could do with this is I don't like have a little eraser where I can go in and just kind of erase like you see where I kind of overlapped my line when I came in and joined up. I cannot do that with this, which makes me a little sad. I would like that feature, but it's not here. Now you're starting to get an idea of some of the more traditional shapes that you can do with this. And how easy it is to just put these in. It does the math for me. And I'll say, oh, I want that with like 12 repeats. I can just take it up and it's like change it and it will automatically do it for me. So lots of fun there. Now if you go in to settings right here, I can click this button and I can put it on different papers. Let's say I want to see what it would look like. Now, because I did these with such thin lines, it's um, not, you can see over here on the edge that not going to be super pretty. The black is where it's going to show up the best. But you can change it to be that paper while you're working, and it will help you see what you're doing a lot easier. I can also make it to where it's kind of like a black version of these. There you go with the gray. You can still get an idea. Right there, and I have my color chooser right there uh, to go through and do a lot of different ones. Um, this kind of tells you a little bit about your different set settings with your brush right there. Um, more in the color, your display. And then here I can choose, and this is my brush chooser, which is pretty nice to be able to do. So I can create different brushes right here close that up. So you can see that it's got a slightly different line to it. Right there. So we need uh, addition there with those different brushes that I can create all of that. And um, as it's playing on the paper that you can see where it gets the light and the dark. So lots of fun with that. Now it gives you a lot of choices right there for how you can export all of this to different ways to share it. You can share it on Instagram, you can share it as a little video. So lots to do there with it. So if you, you don't have to stay in your own little world with this, as well as they've got a ton of tips uh, so that you can find with these. So they'll help you learn how to use it, keep it pretty simple right here. It's a lot of fun. I really like this simple app. If nothing else, it's just fun to sit there and make it do the different designs like back here on this page, on the main page. Oh. To make it just go through and say, you're going to do this now. I just have fun making it do that. Let's zoom out. Look at all those repeats right there. Isn't that cool? I just, it's so much fun. I really like this app. It's iOrnament. You can find it in the App Store. Um, I do not know if it's available for Android devices, if it's in the Google Play or any of those. If it is, I would say go for it, grab it, you're going to have a lot of fun. You can play with this one just as much with your fingers as you can with any of the fancy stylists that, that are out there as well. My daughter has enjoyed this app. She played with it. I mean, even as young as like seven and eight, she was playing with this app. So it's pretty much for all ages, you have lots of fun, and I recommend this one. So don't get to hear that very often, and there was no subscription. Yeah, <laughs> even better, right? <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Grace and Lotties. I'm going to be uploading quite a bit more, so make sure that you click that bell notification so that you can know when any new videos are going up. Remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're watching for it. Bye.